Hi, everybody. Um, it's our time to read the last chapter of Poppy. Um, if you haven't already, go back to Friday's post um, and listen to chapter 18. Uh, go back to yesterday's post and listen to chapter 19 um, before you listen to um, today's chapter, which is um, chapter 20. It's our very last one. It's hard to believe that this book is over. I've enjoyed uh, reading it to you so much. Um, and maybe we'll read the next one in the series next. Anyway, this is um, chapter 20 of Poppy. Um, this chapter is called A New Beginning. Almost 13 full moons to the night since Mr. Okax killed Ragweed, Poppy and her husband, Matt and Married is another story, stood on Bannock Hill with their litter of 11 young mice. They had formed a circle around a small hazelnut tree. Looking on beneath a full golden moon was Aerith the porcupine. This tree, sang to her rather restless children, was planted after a fashion by my late and dear friend, Ragweed. I can't be sure that it was he who dropped the seed nut from which this tree has grown, but I would like to think so. Though it is rather frail now, some day this tree will be mighty. I want to affix this. Here she held up a small earring to a high branch, so as the tree gr grows, it will glitter in the sky for all of us to see. Hey, does Ma love making long speeches, or does she? whispered one of the litter to, to one of her brothers. And here, on Bannock Hill, Poppy went on, once forbidden to us, though we too live in Dimwood Forest, we shall have our dancing place. It doesn't matter how you dance, my children, slow or fast, by jumps or steps. As long as you are free to dance in the open air by the light of the moon, all will be well. Now, Aerith, if you please. Old Aerith, murmuring, mouse muck under his breath, gave a grunt, but began to shake and rattle his quills until he settled into a steady beat. Then the eleven young litter mice began to dance their own way with jiggles and jumps and leaps and lopes. As for Poppy and Rye, they spun round and round in a stately waltz, dancing by the light of the moon and the earring, which glittered high on the hazelnut tree. Okay, so what a happy ending for Poppy. Um, she married another mouse named Rye, and they had a children. Um, and what a nice tribute to Ragweed that they've planted this um, hazelnut tree and that that's their place to dance. Um, I think that... This is probably my favorite part of the book since we're talking about favorite part in reading today, um, or that's what we're focusing on. I love this quote. It doesn't matter how you dance, my children, slow or fast, by jumps or steps, as long as you are free to dance in the open air by the light of the moon, all will be well. I think that's something important for us uh, to remember right now, that, that as long as we can dance outside by the light of the moon, all will be well. All right. I loved reading this book with you. Um, I'm sad that it's over, but um, I, I loved reading it. And we will um, look for the next, uh, which is Poppy and Rye.